Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to discuss on how we can set email mail server in Photo 16. So for that, you need to go to the settings here. And if you go to the settings, you have under the technical here, you have the option to set the outgoing mail server and the incoming mail server. So if you click on it, you can see an option to create a new one. So I, I have already created a new server here. And you can see here that you can give the server name that is the incoming mail server. You can add a name here, and you can also see the option to set the server type. So I'll give it as IMAP server. And down here, you need to give the domain for your server. And here in the username and password, you need to provide your email ID and the password in which you are setting the incoming mail server. So after giving the necessary details, you need to test and confirm it. So let me test and confirm it. And you can see it is in confirmed state now. And now let me go back to the technical here down where I can set the outgoing mail server. So if I go to the outgoing mail server here, so you need to make sure that the debugging mode is on before setting up the email servers. And let me click on it. So this is the already created outgoing mail server. I have given the name it has name as outgoing mail server, and you can choose the authentication methods. And here you have the option to set the connection encryption method. So I'll give it as SSL slash TLS. And here in the SMTP server, you need to provide a domain. So I'll give the domain as gmail.com, and in the username you need to provide the email id and the password and after giving the necessary details you can also provide the priority level for this mail so if you have two to three mails you can provide the priority level for each of the mail that you are creating and after giving the necessary details you can just test the connection so after testing the connection here you can see here there's a message called connection test successful so if the authentication and the details are correct you will see a message which shows that the configuration is su successful so after giving the necessary details now let me go to the sales module and create a new quotation so i'll be creating a new quotation here by giving the customer and if you want you can add the expiration date and let me add the product to the order line so after adding the product to the order line here so i'll be adding the product to the order line and i'll confirm it so let me just confirm it now and you have the option to create invoice and send by mail so if you click on the send by mail option and if i send the mail so i have click on send and if you just go to the mail that you have configured I'll just refresh it. And as you can see here, the mail is now shown here. So as you can see that the mail is shown here. And if you click on it, it will go back to the sales order that I've created. So this is how we configure the mail servers in Odo 16. That's all for today. Thank you.